Jackson. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That is crazy. No snake head. Are you kidding me? They're dead, boys. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of a challenge. We're going to be handlining for bass. We just picked up two dozen shiners. We got Chris right there. It's going to be me got versus Chris. Yeah, got we got the rods. the rods out here. Those are going to be the Perfect. rods right there. It's going to be me versus Chris. Whoever can catch the most fish wins. So let's get to it. All right, you guys. Here's a quick tip when you go bass fishing and you buy shiners from a tackle shop. The water, most more times than not, the water is very cold, and the water that you're fishing in, like for the bass, is going to be very warm inside the lake. So, we recommend that you guys acclimate your uh, your shiners because the baits will not last long. <laughs> Here's we Chris. We don't have a cup, so we're using a flat paddle. Yeah. We don't want to touch the water. We don't want to touch the water. It's kind of gross. <laughs> it's like really gross. There's like green crap growing. So. You know what? We're just acclimating it like this because your shiners will last a lot longer because usually the shock of the water will just kill them almost instantly. So, it's about six degrees. Quick little tip. All right, you guys, here's our rig that we're going to be using the hand line for this challenge. This is just some dry line. This is 30 pound uh, mono, little 2 0 J hook right there. Right there, nice little 2 0. Got a little bobber because this isn't where you, you are not going to be able to really feel a bite using mono one and two with a freaking hand line. So, this is just for fun for you guys. We'll see if you guys like these challenge videos because we have a lot of challenge videos in mind that we want to do. We're going to start posting five days a week. You heard me right, five days. We're tired of that like stupid beginner like three times a week crap. We're really getting into this. We're going to be posting Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Friday and Saturday, we're just going to be filming pretty much all day. So uh, go down, hit the subscribe button because there's going to be a lot of videos coming. So hit that. It's uh, free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, the subscribing is totally free, but and turn your post notification bell on so you guys get notified as soon as we upload because we're going to be uploading five days a week. All right, you guys, it is currently 6.04. We're going to give this one hour between the challenge, between Chris and I, whoever catches the most fish wins. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, when I get eight, this thing's just going to come right out of my hand. So Get my first bait. Let's beat Chris. Let's see if we can get a nice looking shiner here. Here we go. Up to the lip. Just like so. Now it's time to beat Chris. Watch out, Chris. I'm here, dude. Whoa, whoa, you crossed my line, dude. <laughs> Baby. Cheater. Crossing my line. I have a go, knot. Bro. I have a knot. Here we go, bro. Nervous bait, nervous bait, nervous bait. Why are you swimming and mine's not? I don't know. Oh my god, Jackson. Oh! Jack's on. Oh yeah. Jack's on. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Jack is on. Uh. Ooh, is that a big one? Dude, what is this? What the hell is that? Is that a snakehead? Oh my god, I just caught a snakehead. I just caught a snakehead. Oh, oh my crazy. god. No way, dude. These are, this is, this is one of the most invasive fish here in South Florida. I have been fishing in this lake. I, this is where I learned to fish. I've been fishing here in this lake since I was about like, five years old, I've never caught a snakehead here. That is absolutely insane, there's a snakehead in this lake. That is crazy. Oh my god, beautiful fish. I, 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 this is like the third snakehead I've ever caught, this is insane. These fish, wow. Hey, it's not a bass, so it doesn't count. No, it's fish, it's a fish. <laughs> it's a fish. Hey guys, this is just a little baby snakehead, really invasive. I'm against killing these things. People want to kill them, but they're a cool fish and they're already obviously in here. I don't know how the hell they got in here, but this is totally- Oh my God, I'm on. Chris is on. Wait, I don't oh. know, am I? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in it. Woo Let's Shit. go. Let's go. What does Chris have? Your Another boy. snakehead? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Another snakehead. Another Are you kidding me? Can't touch the dock. Don't let him touch the bottom of the boat. Another snakehead, dude. That's Jesus so bad. Christ. That is so bad. We're killing these. I'm Let's sorry. Let's go. Both Let's of these go. things. He's dead. He's gonna. He's gonna die. We're killing him. We're killing him. All right, guys. FWC. They want us to kill. <laughs> yeah, FWC says to kill. These. They say to kill these things. I thought there wasn't gonna be this many of them in here. This is really bad. Like, hold I'm on, not, hold on. I'm hold not on. exaggerating. This is really bad to have these. This whole lake is gonna be so screwed. This is. This is really sad. All right, now get me, guys. 
<laughs> one to one. I caught a freaking fish. All right, the, the snakeheads count now, one to one. Yeah, it's one one. Let's go. Mine's bigger, so actually two to one. The honors, this is gonna be off camera, but I'm killing both of these snakeheads yes. with this. We'll just toss them on the. Yeah. No, because they'll, they can live for hours out of lake. But this is this is just really bad. We're killing both of these. Hey yeah. guys, these two things. Not gonna they're dead, me. boys. This is just, I can't believe it. This is honestly so sad. Like, this whole fishery is probably screwed. They're eating all the baby bass. Like, I mean, you guys literally witnessed that. We caught, we, I caught one right over here. Two seconds, as I'm trying to, as I was gonna let this one go, Chris catches one, so I, I we kind of kill it. Even the guy over there, he thought I was, I was about to swing at it, and he thought it was a bass, and then he's like, no, dude, the snakeheads are piled up in here. You have to get rid of them. He wouldn't even let me release it, so. Let us know. We're just gonna kill these things. Maybe we'll use them as shark bait. Maybe we'll feed them to the fish. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're not gonna let them go to waste. Let us know if you guys want us to come back and do a catch and cook with these things. I'm just talking with fish in my hand. I don't know what's going on here, but this is honestly just unreal. I can't not believe it. Let's get back to fishing. Look, it's one one. Is. one one. One one. One one. Mine was bigger. Drop a like, cause we're gonna be doing this a lot more often. We're gonna come out here at night. We're gonna do the flashlight. We're gonna freaking, it, just, just like it. Just, just it's subscribe, guys. All right, you guys. I'm re-rigging, or Chris is re-rigging, so I'm gonna take advantage of it, and I'm gonna catch another one. This should not take very long. Look at this. Trying, trying to cheat. So as I was re-rigging, guys, my finger touched my tongue, and I'm, I might die from amoebas. <laughs> so be ready. Chiner's nervous. Something's chasing him. I'm about to take the lead 2-1. Watch this right here, see him? Look at that, he's nervous. Yep, there's another one. God dang it. What is it? That's, that's, that's about like a little bass. That's a bass. Yes. Nice. Oh yeah, <laughs> mother truckers. Oh, he choked it. Might be able to get it out. That's two to one. What time is it? Chum. There we go. <laughs> All right, you guys got the hook back. We're gonna let him go. Two on me. There he goes. He's good. All right, I'm gonna get another one. Guys. Snakehead. Come on. Pull hard, Chris, set that hook. Uh, let's go. Let's go. What is it? Cichlid. That counts. It counts. Cool. Now a cichlid, guys. Hand line number two, baby. Guys. I don't like fish. Chris doesn't like to touch fish. <laughs> it's not like All right, guys. Just got my second. That's a cichlid, but what are you going to do? Good snook bait. It's a hand line. Hand line catch. I'll take it. Two, two. Two, two. Tie it up. Release. Oh. Good release. 6.34, 30 minutes left of fishing. We're halfway done with the tournament. We're tied 2-2. It's a ball game. 10 grand, 10 grand at the stake here. I wish. We lost it. The hook. I'm not hitting him hard enough, I don't think. I didn't even, I don't even hit mine. <laughs> I just reeled it in. <laughs> it's gonna be a turtle. I'm not a basser. I have a turtle. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's negative points. That is negative points. Negative one. Guys, negative I'm points. I have a turtle. Oh, uh, it came off. Doesn't count. My, my thing's still alive. Doesn't count. Let's so go. Toss him back. I'll give it to you. Fair enough. I would have I I bargained the thing again. again. He's 7-10. Six minutes overdue. A little overtime. Whoever catches the first fish wins. No, I'd be on. Maybe not. I got something going. Yep, turtle. Uh, it's a bass. Jack snake is freaking on. Head. Another snakehead? Another snakehead? Another snakehead. Oh, I just threw it. I just dragged. Oh, that doesn't count. Just five seconds ago, I had a snakehead on while my sister was talking to my uncle. I lost him right here at the dock. Devastating. It's really Still sad. two to two. <laughs> I'm about ready to wrap it up. I think it's uh, time to call it. It's getting dark. Two to two. We tied. Jack had the opportunity to seal the deal with the extra snakehead. Lost it. Sucked. Terrible fisherman. Sucked. Great game. Great match. All right, you guys, that is going to be the end of this video. We're going to feed the tortoises right here really quick. Myrtle's in the water over there. Here's Chester. Do you guys were asking how the tortoises were doing. They're doing just great. So, drop some food in here. Go on, Chester. So, so as they are eating, I just want to talk a little bit about what happened yesterday. Yesterday we were planning on just going bass fishing because I've been bass fishing there. I've caught countless five plus pound fish. I've even caught a 10 pounder out of there. I've been fishing there. My uncle's been living there for 
as long as I can remember, I've been fishing there for a very, very long time, and I've never, ever seen a snake hit in there. Um, so yeah, we went, we got some shiners, went out, we want to do a little challenge between Chris and I, just hand lining. First bait within five minutes, a snake head. Two seconds later, Chris just got another one. Absolutely crazy, it just shows how invasive those fish really are, because that whole lake is fenced in that I'm aware of, or not fenced in, but it's a closed lake. Sorry for that guy over there, he's freaking loud as hell, but it's a closed in lake. I'm so shocked that they're in there. We only caught one bass the whole time. I would go there back in the day when I would catch double digit fish, like 10, 20, 30 fish a day. However many baits I caught, that's how many bass I caught. So yeah, it's really sad. We did end up killing those two fish. We still have them. I have them in the freezer now. I'm probably gonna end up feeding them to the fish. But if you guys wanna see a catch and cook of snakehead, we'll go back there and we can probably catch them no problem. So if you guys like these challenge videos, we have a lot more planned, and like I said earlier in the video, we are going to be posting five days a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We'll probably be posting right around five or four o'clock Eastern time. Um, but yeah, if you guys like these videos, subscribe. We're about to take off, so don't miss out. Join the family, and give this video a nice thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next video.